Good morning, happy Easter. Today is the second video of our Simple Sunday series. And I wanted to show you what I'm going to make out of my scrap materials from my junk journals that I've been making throughout the week. It's getting close to market season, so a lot of my items that you'll see me creating are gonna be for sale at our markets. If you are local, I will be at the Interlochen Farmer's Market every Sunday, May through October, unless I'm on the road at a show which is farther away. These are some of the bookmarks that are in the process of they're either completed or almost finished. So it'll just kind of give you a general idea of what the finished outcome will look like here. Very simple to make. I'm using scraps from the journals that I cut down to size before I bound them together. And then leftover sheet music and some scrap ribbon or string to make the final um, completion of the bookmarks. So let me go ahead here. I have a piece of scrap sheet music paper and we're going to make, we're going to start with a small one. We're just going to make this small little bookmark here. Um, this is just from a notebook that I turned into a journal and I cut down to size. So it looks like it's pr in pretty good shape already. And I'm just going to go ahead here I want to even out this sheet music page here. So I'm going to tear that and then I'm going to come and I'm just going to measure like so here. And I'm still getting used to videotaping all of this. So I just, I sure hope that you kind of get a visual of what I'm doing. And over time, Hopefully I will get better with this and keep it in camera at all times. You can also tear with the ruler like I did just a second ago. Um, I just grab whatever's closest to me at the time really. Did I not want to keep that black tab on? I must have... I must have thought I was going to be cutting that off. Well, that's okay. We can that looks kind of that looks kind of neat actually. We can leave that. That doesn't have to be covered. So, now I'm just going to take the glue stick and make sure I glue this up really well so that the sheet music adheres nicely. And I use Elmer's Extreme. So, that seems to be holding pretty well so far. All right, so there we have that side. I'm gonna go ahead here, I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm just gonna kinda do the same thing here. So apparently I'm not gonna keep that black. There's gonna be a little bit of overage, but that's okay, we can cut that off. Right, so that looks pretty good. And again, we're just gonna go ahead here and glue the back side. This is a really simple project, but people like to use bookmarks. And if you're into journals and you have these scraps already, what better way than to just repurpose something and make a little bit of money doing so if you decide to sell them. Um, it's also a nice way to give as gifts for crafts. Um, give for gifts for crafts. Come on, Heather. It's a nice way to make crafts and then give them as gifts. So yeah, there's just there's a variety of things that you can do. And once you get in the flow of this, it doesn't take long to make a lot in a short amount of time. So that's also nice if you need to make bulk for to fill up your market space. Um, I know when I'm getting ready for markets, there's always a set amount of each item I like to try to have on hand. And then if it's successful, I know that that was either a good amount, I need to make more, I need to make less, etc. 
Um, I used to be a little more loosey-goosey with it, and fortunately, it worked. But if you want to keep your stress levels to a minimum, I suggest having a little bit of a greater plan when you are getting ready for markets. And I'll talk more about that series here shortly. All right, so I actually really like how the black strip looks on the top there. And this looks pretty good. And again, here's the back and we'll do something there too. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what you do. And then I'll just go ahead here and take my hole puncher and I'm going to put the hole punch right in the black here and it is a little thicker so I hope it does punch through okay. Try to get it as centered as possible. Yep, works just fine. So there's that. And then I can go ahead here, I have this little bit of scrap ribbon. So I'm gonna use my scrap ribbon and do a little double knot here. It's not gonna have a huge long tassel, but it's gonna be just, it'll be just fine. And I don't even know if I have to double it, but I will. So yeah, there's that. And then you can, if you want it together, you can glue the ends together. If you don't care and you don't mind them separate, you can just leave them as such. You can snip them down a little bit. I'm just gonna leave it like that. It's um, fine. And I'll probably come in here and either add some little ephemera scrap I have. I could cut this down and have it just hanging over a little bit. That'd be kind of fun. Another scrap I have right here is this fabric lace trim you see me use on another project. That'd look kind of pretty because of the gold from the ribbon and then the gold here. But ultimately, I think I'm going to keep it fairly simple. And if I can find it, just use one of my bird stamps. Now, this is actually a little bit smaller than the ones I were using, so I might have to pick a different stamp to stamp on here. Let's see if there's any that I like on here. So, let's see here. I'm not a huge fan of these ones and the ones that I am looking for my paper cubby is a little messy here so you know you know how that goes probably won't find it but let's just go ahead here and I know what I'll do I'll darken the edges a little bit so I got my ink pad here and I'm just gonna take it and kind of now the harder and the deeper you press the more ink you're gonna get on this bookmark so just gonna kind of go around the edges here and ink it up, give it that dimension. And again, we left the top black, so it actually looks pretty neat like this. Yep, just like so. All right, so there's that. I like that look, so I'm gonna keep it like that. And then I'm gonna go around the back here. Nice, okay. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with the top yet here on this bookmark, but let's see. It looks all right, but it's not quite the look I was going for. I actually really like it just simple like this on the front. I think that looks pretty nice. And then on the back here, Heather, what could you do? You could do washi tape, you could do ribbon. I'm just looking at the scraps I have. I could cut that down and tape it there, but I think I'm just gonna ink it up a little more. I, I like how it's dark and, and the white is okay. It's not kind of giving it that. So. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it as such. And then the ink will dry and just kind of gave it that. Now you gotta be careful because I got the ribbon, um, ink on the ribbon a little bit, but it's, it's still fine. So this will dry and this will be the complete 
the completed bookmark. I think I'll leave this one as such. And I like it. I like that I was able to use all scrap pieces and a little bit of ink to complete this look. I'm gonna let this side dry. So that's just using a my scrap materials. As you can see, I have several pieces left over. Um, so I'll be turning all of these into bookmarks. And like I said, once I get going, this won't take me long at all to do it. I'm just using scrap pieces, scrap ephemera. If you want to add more detail to things, you can. I have these little uh, paper clips that say, you know, dream. And then there's different washi tapes I could use. So yeah, I'm just gonna have fun with it, create with those. And then also I wanted to share some of the journals that I've been making. I've been making really basic ones that you can actually add your artwork or collage work, um, ephemera to without it being completed. So one of them is this journal right here. It's covered in a linen fabric with a bird on the front. And once I open it up, you will see it has a Gwen Frostic print in the front inside page. And then it has the tea dyed pages. Um, these were hand done by me. I do enjoy having them in the journals. I feel like it gives the journals that authentic older look. Um, and then I mostly left the pages blank in here because this is, like I said, one that you're going to fill. I did um, purchase a printable, printed it off, and teared the edges from another um, paper seller. And if I remember her name, I don't remember it at this time, but I'll use some of her stuff again and then I'll make sure to add that and then here's some sheet music and yeah like I said it's just keeping it simple for you to add that keeps the cost down too the back is really pretty I used a dictionary page and stamped the bird on it so these are $14 and this one is listed at northernvintagedecor.com right now and then some other ones that I have like I made this one yesterday this is uh, also the linen color covered fabric on the front and then inside I just did a little bit of detailed work here uh, just some fabric and a word cut out and down the center I reinforced this book spine with some washi tape and again here we have the tea stain dyed page and then I used some just a little bit almost like a cardstock paper and another tea dyed page and sheet music with the ripped edges. And then again, I reinforced that spine. So yes, there's this one and the inside cover, or I'm sorry, the back inside cover. We have some mixed media going on here, linen fabric, cutout words, and a black, black stamp um, rose. And then the back I just had fun with. I did some ephemera, some fabric, some cardstock. So yeah, this again is only $14. Um, the shipping's very inexpensive on these two. We do ship within the US. And um, this one is not yet listed on the website, but it will be shortly. And I'll put links in the description below. So yeah, that's when I was cutting these down, that's where I got a lot of my scraps from that I used to make the bookmark today. And you can save your scraps and then you'll just have a pile of them and you can have fun picking out what you'd like to work. And at the market, it looks really nice when you use your stamps because it flows with the rest of the items and there's those themes that are going on and a cohesive look is really helpful when you're doing markets. Um, this one I made either yesterday or the day before and again I just had fun with the cover. I used cardstock, linen, cardstock, linen fabric, the cutouts, some printables, and some ribbon. And then inside here, again, I left this one blank. I might add a little bit of something for someone in there. Uh, we have the tea dyed paper. We have the sheet music cover, um, the card stock. Again, another sheet of tea dyed paper. These are all about 20 pages. And then here we go. So you have a lot of room to add your own art and collage work and ephemera to. The back here is 
decorated with a Gwen Frostic Swallow printable, the ribbon, the fabric, and again, the cardstock. So this is $14 and it will also be on the website. It's called Summer Days is what I described this one. I just picture someone taking it to a cottage, lake house, Airbnb that they're staying at and then just journaling that trip. So. That's something that would be a great memory. And even if you did that with a family and then gave it as a gift, that would be a pretty special gift, I would think. So there's that. Um, so yeah, I wanted to show you those. I wanted to go over the basic makings of the bookmark, which you got to see me make this little one. Where is it? Was it? I put it somewhere to dry and where did I put it? Well, you see me make the bookmark and, uh, oh, here we go. It's right here drying. Pretty sure, well, there's still a little bit of ink on there, but it turned out pretty good. Just using scrap materials and I uh, did, here's, I do all different sizes and yeah, it's a pretty simple process, but it's just a good way to use your leftover materials. Thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Again, every Sunday I do Simple Sundays where I show you what I'm working on, what I like to do with my Sundays. Today just happens to be Easter, but I'm not doing anything this morning, so figured I will just continue doing these videos for you. And I will be doing a vendor series. And then of course, when my markets are on Sunday, you'll get a glimpse of the vendor life for my simple Sundays. So these are just some of the journals. Again, one is a couple are listed on northernvintagedecor.com. The rest will be on there shortly. Thank you so much. Have a great Easter and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.